in the last video we were talking about the how the slot data from Yuma uh, version, the mail version, was created. Now uh, it's time to explain uh, about the female one. So as I've told before, for this one I'm using a dynamic list. In this case it, it makes really much more sense because I'm not entirely sure how many slots I will be using because depending on some random uh, results I would be including a, a new slot or only an overlay so in this kind of situation a dynamic list makes quite some, some sense and so I, I've intentionally uh, created the female avatar with a different uh, situation for bringing this this solution here. So uh, it's basically the same. Here I'm simply including this uh, female lies on the slot list, a dynamic one, and defining an overlay for the eyes. <clears throat> the something interesting if you're using dynamic lists is that you need to have some way to keep track of the index of the slots so here I'm keeping track of the index of the female face based on the the amount of slots and this is only possible right after <coughs> <coughs> sorry right after including this this slot on the list so in this case I'm accessing this uh, this specific slot of the, the head and also including an overlay of the eyebrow you see here um, and after that the same is going on with the, the body itself starting with the torso and in this case we include a female underwear <coughs> and here it's the it's when things start to get more interesting so depending on this random range I'm going to uh, define an overlay for the body index another overlay or I'm going to include an entirely new slot you see here in this case the female t-shirt and it's as you can see a mesh it's not only an overlay <coughs> <coughs> then I'm including the rest of the body that, uh, that's something I should mention also if you, you're going to notice here that the entire body, female body, uh, here, <coughs> okay, here. So the entire female body, ex excluding the head, is just one texture. This texture is uh, shared for the for the female body. <coughs> so in this case, I really didn't uh, need a deuce. And uh, also, I've made a mistake of including the skin color on the inner mouth of the female. This, in fact, doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, <clears throat> but for hands, feet, uh, it's not really necessary to include the skin color because uh, it's already defined on the, the torso itself. In this version, it's still ne necessary to keep the, the, the first slot that share this information with the edges. So if you have the hands, feet, uh, legs, if they share the same texture with the female torso, all of the necessary <coughs> edges and overlays should be defined for the torso so for specifically this this is lot you see 
this is really important. Uh, it's probably going to change in the following versions, but uh, at least for now, this really needs to be defined in the first slot that shares the, the, the texture. <clears throat> so here, uh, I have something similar that we have here. But this time is for defining the, the legs. In this case, I'm including uh, jeans, uh, slots, and we have some interesting situation here. Also, I've brought this this situation to to make it clear how how many possibilities we have to define a slot or define a part of the human mesh. <clears throat> So in this case here, I'm including a female jeans mesh, defining a color for this uh, for this jeans. Uh, in fact, I, I really don't even need this one because it's going to to be uh, adjusted by the the male torso in the in the following step. So here I'm defining that this jeans is going to share exactly the same overlay list of the torso, you see here. And after that I'm, I'm including for the torso itself the overlay of the jeans. You see, because uh, the, what, what I'm doing here is sharing the, the, the jeans texture together with the rest of the body. It's an interesting strategy for saving uh, texture space on the atlas. Let me see if I can uh, generate a new avatar with this kind of solution. Okay, I think one of those it's probably having the what we need. Okay, this one here. Yeah. So uh, the texture here, you can see. Great. You can notice that the jeans texture, even being a mesh here, you can see that it's not the the base mesh of the female avatar. It's an entirely new mesh. I've uh, you, I've defined the UV of this uh, genes uh, in a place that uh, uses the same space of the lag. As the lag is already occluded, I'm, I'm saving the space of the lag for the genes itself. So this is an interesting strategy. And right now, for this kind of thing to work, I need to really define that the the genes is sharing the same the same stuff that is used for the rest of the body. No. Uh, in this case here, I'm including just the legs, the female legs themselves, and this is also an interesting case. Here, I'm including the legs. Uh, again, this is not even necessary because it's been shared with the rest of the body. And later, I'm including an overlay of the gems for the female legs. So in this case, it's not a mesh, it's only the overlay. So it's a special texture, it's not the same texture I'm using here. You can see the difference. So in this last one here, uh, I'm basically using the same logic. In fact, I'm quite sure for uh, I, I can uh, force here, I, I can remove this one here and uh, use the, the last element on this list just to show uh, something interesting. I'm also uh, forcing the result being this specific guy, the number one. Uh, let me just explain what's going to happen. So I'm, I'm using this long hair 
that is in fact only a part of the hair. Uh, the rest, the actual long hair, is an extra model uh, I'm going to include in following versions. Uh, and after defining this, uh, I'm including an overlay, specifically this slot with the female long hair and defining the color. So again, this is not necessary. And let me show you what's going to happen in this case. Let me hit play, create one female. Okay. Right. So here is what I really want to show you guys. As you can see, we have the mesh and uh, we have this going on here, here. Okay, so you can see that the hair texture is using an entire new space on the atlas, an entire new area. area. It's not saving the, the space overlay overlaid with the head itself. You see, so any, any content you can define if it's going to save a texture space, if you, you you're sure it's going to occlude that area or you can define this as an entire new slot. After this what we, we have here is the eyelashes. Uh, for you guys it's also including the skin color. I'm really sorry about that. I'm, I've probably uh, for this this pack uh, copy, copy and pasted all of those slots so all of them are bringing the skin color and obviously for her for the eyelash it makes no sense including this so uh, what's different with the eyelashes for the female avatar is that uh, the eyelash is a different uh, shader so if you you get here in the slot library and we select the eyelash we can identify that it's using the transparent two-sided uh, shader instead of the, the the Yuma base shader. You see, so it's it's possible to use uh, different shaders for the slots. But uh, what's important uh, in specifically this version uh, is including this this different shader. Uh, slots in, in sequence. I mean, all of the, those here are using one shader, this one is using a different shader. If I mix them, I bring this one uh, here. You're, you're going to notice um, a UV problem on uh, calculating the UV is generating some problems. This is actually a bug that I, I'm planning correcting probably for the, the the next version of Yuma project but uh, for now if you're using a different shader in a specific slot you you might want to include this slot after the, the other ones and uh, finishing this I'm defining uh, I'm in fact converting this uh, dynamic list into an array because Yuma Recipe really needs uh, uh, an array instead of the list itself so we, we we bring the right information okay um, so for this part uh, I think that's that's enough I'm going to to record uh, other video about uh, customization and other stuff uh, I hope this has been useful for you guys, and that's it. Goodbye.